There is a wealth of information available on the internet around the themes of health and well-being. Fortunately, many of these are brought together under NHS websites, but many people find there is just too much there and they don't know where to start. The purpose of this page is to offer you a good starting point to find out some of the most commonly sought information. From this web page, you'll be able to visit a variety of other web pages, and so further searching is always possible. The purpose of each video tutorial is to help you, or the person you are assisting, to navigate aspects of this particular page, and to show something of what can be searched and the results you should find. Here you can find a comprehensive listing of medical conditions and treatments. The A to Z arrangement should help you find what you are looking for more quickly. There's also a list of common conditions. Across the alphabet, you can search for conditions ranging from abdominal pain to yellow fever. At the bottom of the index page, there is a medicines A to Z should you wish to discover more about drugs you have been prescribed. For each condition, there is an overview, as well as additional tabs as appropriate for symptoms, diagnosis, treatment and prevention. For some conditions, there's also a helpful video, which you can click on the arrow to play. Here, you can find a symptom checker program, which is an NHS direct service designed to advise you on what best to do with regard to a range of common symptoms. Click on the heading and you'll be taken to a list of topics. Select one and you'll be presented with 13 specific symptom checks and a chance to find the one best suited to you if you are unsure. When making a symptom check, you'll be asked if it is for yourself or for someone else. And if for yourself, you will enter your gender and date of birth. If for someone else, gender and approximate age. You'll be asked a series of multiple choice questions to establish the cause or details of your problem. Reasons for asking particular questions are set out below to avoid unnecessary worry. Depending on your symptoms and your answers, you may be directed to useful guidance or a service, receive a callback from an operator, or, if the indication suggests a serious issue, be directed to call an ambulance. We hope that you have found this guide useful, whether you are accessing health services for yourself or, as a member of library staff or a volunteer, you are becoming more familiar with the content so that you can better assist customers. This is a pilot project designed to make it easier to use online information and services. Therefore, it may look different or be improved in the future. You can help us do our best for you by completing a short questionnaire on the webpage above this tutorial. Thank you.